Good afternoon, welcome to Secret London with me, Mark Munro, and today I'm in the tourist hotspot of Covent Garden. The good news is the R rate has been going down, the Christmas decorations have been going up, and things are getting really festive. The piazza itself was designed by Indigo Jones in the 1700s. He then added this building here, which became the fruit and veg market. Now, in the 20th century, the market became so busy that it had to move south of the river. After the fruit and veg traders moved out of this wonderful building, new businesses decided to move in and take advantage of this incredible location. Nowadays, Covent Garden is a tourist treasure. It's famous more now for its bars, its restaurants, its amazing shopping, and above all, its world famous street entertainers. Another thing Covent Garden is famous for is that it's home to London's oldest restaurant. Now, I'm feeling a little bit peckish, so uh, let's go for something to eat. And this is it. Located here on Maiden Lane is London's oldest restaurant. It was opened in 1798. It's a traditional British restaurant it serves oysters, pies, pudding and game. And at this time of year, at Christmas, the Christmas decorations in this restaurant are incredible. So let's go and eat in a restaurant that's over 220 years old. Welcome to Rules. Okay, so we just ordered. First of all, a little bit about the restaurant itself. In the year Napoleon opened his campaign in Egypt, Thomas Rawl, a man of little success, decided he would open an oyster bar in Covent Garden. The restaurant proved a hit, much to the surprise of his own family. And before long, London's finest writers, dandies and superior intelligences were singing the restaurant's praises. The restaurant spans the reign of nine monarchs and has been owned by three families. Charles Rawls, a descendant of the founder, by coincidence, met another restaurateur called Tom Bell, and the two men decided to swap businesses. And in 1984, Tom Bell's daughter sold Rawls to John Mayhew, today's present owner. The restaurant seats around 90 people and employs 90 staff. The restaurant also has a famous clientele list, as well as appearing in some famous productions, Downton Abbey and James Bond, the movie Spectre. The restaurant has a star-studded past. Throughout its long history, the tables of rules have been crowded with lawyers, journalists, actors, as well as being frequented by great writing talents, including Charles Dickens, H.G. Wells, Evelyn Waugh, Oscar Wilde and Dick Francis. The actors and actresses who have passed through Rawls are legion. Down the decades, Rawls has been an unofficial green room for the world of entertainment from Henry Irving to Laurence Olivier, and the history of the English stage adorns the walls. 
the sibling art of the cinema has contributed its own distinguished list of names including Buster Keaton, Stan Laurel, Charles Loughton, Clark Gable, Charlie Chaplin and John Barrymore. Well, like I said, the restaurant specialises in oysters, puddings and pies and game which is sourced from their very own moorland in North Yorkshire. They've also got a great cocktail menu. Just do it, stop it, stop it. I've got to go and back to it. Relax, breathe, breathe. Yeah, I know, I need that. That's amazing. There's cool. also an extensive cocktail menu, and I'm going to give the Duchess of Cambridge a try. Mm. I would say regal notes with elegant undertones and uh, majestic finish. Very good. Thanks for watching today's episode of Secret London with me, Mark Monroe. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave any comments down below, hit the thumbs up button, and if you really enjoyed it, why not subscribe? Until next time, stay tuned.